Please welcome to the show, Mark Maron! Hi, man. How are you, man? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. Thank you, George. Listen to many of your podcasts, kind sir. Oh, so you know me pretty well, then. I, well, I, I, well, you share a lot. I do. I overshare. Cool. You know what? Yes. It, you don't overshare to me because I'm not married to you. But uh, as I, when I read your book, you certainly do overshare. <laughs> in the book? In, in, well, in your art, and it yeah. causes so many troubles in your relationships. Yeah. You know? Yeah. How's that working out? Oh, great! Just, Everything's <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Everything's falling apart as usual. <laughs> but I'm a I'm a bit of a I'm a, I'm an aggravated person. You know, I'm a I'm a yeller. You, you know, I I tend to yell. Uh, and uh, it, it's sort of scary when when you yell. I mean, I don't I don't always know that. If you can find if you're a yeller and you can find a woman that also yells, yeah. some part of you thinks like, well, this is perfect. Yeah. Um, well, listen, gro growing up half Greek, dude, yeah. common. Oh, oh it's yeah, very common. Absolutely, we're yelling at each other. This is the way <laughs> life. This is happiness. Right. You, you know. <laughs> But, but you don't, you, 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 there's a shame involved in it. You, and I talk about this sometimes, like when you yell, especially if you live in a quiet neighborhood, you, you know that if you're sitting around wondering whether your neighbors are hearing you fight, there's, there's a problem. Totally. You know, and you know that when you, if you go out to the garbage, you know, to put your garbage out and you see your neighbor and you've got to fight the urge to say, hey, I'm not hitting her, uh, <laughs> you know, like, that, that maybe there's a problem. Yeah. But when, you, when you're a yeller, you know, once you yell, it's out of you, you know, but what you don't realize, yeah, it's in them. You know, you're dumping, like, and, and basically what happens in my relationships is eventually they just leave a depleted husk of their former self and right. move on to a healthier relationship. Right. How do you feel about that? Well, it's, it's rough. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, because you resent them for leaving. And then, like, I, well, I, I talk about it in the show a little bit. Uh, when she left me, she married some other guy. Yeah. And you think it's all about you when you get left, you know, and you think, it, it, are we going to show that? Watch this clip. Watch uh, this clip about spite pregnancy. Uh, oh, hey, it's you. Yeah. And the guy who stole you from me. Come on, grow up. It's been like four years. Yeah. Wow, pregnant. Yeah. So that's your move? <laughs> I get it, I know who you are. You're having a baby at me. That's a spite baby. Yeah, Mark, it's all about you. Everything's all about you. Well, congratulations. I have to go to the bathroom because Boomer is in his cage. So on... You talked about it in your Netflix bit, but also in the IFC show. I mean, that's yeah. the that's the that's what we're talking about here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> when you watch it back, then you realize that that people actually feel that way. Did you actually feel that way? That she had a spite baby at me? No. Yeah. The idea that that, that that's how your life would play out. <laughs> oh boy. You know, you, you you start in good faith. You know, you want things to work out. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, sometimes they don't. Uh, no, I, I didn't think that was the way it was going to go. You know, I thought that, you know, I thought that that woman would have babies with me. Right. You, you know, but I, I think that the, the way she put it when, uh, you know, when we talked about that was, uh, I think, she, this is getting a little deep. Um, I think she said, uh, you think I'm going to bring babies into this? And I'm just like, what does that even mean? You don't think I'd be a good dad? Screw you! So in retrospect, she was right, but... Um, <laughs> Let me play this clip, and I think it's the Winnipeg Comedy Festival. I think that's where it's from. What? Yeah. I don't remember that. Envy. I guess I'll watch some television, get some ideas for jokes. Envy. Jesus Christ. How much Jon Stewart does this planet need? <laughs> I'm funnier and smarter and better looking than this Jewish pander monkey. How much do they need? <laughs> that's quite a statement. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. When did I do that? That's about... 2009. Oh boy. <laughs> well, the, 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 it was a, it was a themed show. Yeah. So you chose envy in I that. I chose respect. envy. Yeah, that's the context of it. We have that. Yeah. Yeah. The, <laughs> I gotta resolve that John Stewart thing. Is it not resolved? I don't know. What do I gotta do that for publicly over oh, and no. over again? I'm, I'm asking you. <laughs> you know, how are you and Louis C.K.? You getting Louis C.K. cool? Yeah, me and Louie are good. Yeah. yeah, no, he's been good. Uh, you know, we worked that stuff out. The, the thing with John was really, um, you know, in my mind, when I was starting out, we, you know, John and I started out together, and, and he was, you know, always on television. You know, I actually ended up hosting the, the show that he started on Comedy Central at the last, the last version of it. But, but whatever, he just became, I don't know, when you're a, a bitter person or you're a jealous person, you're, you're going to have that one dude 
You know, that like he represents everything that you could have been. He's the know? quarterback. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. So, like, and there was a period of time in New York and in the world where you couldn't avoid John Stewart. I mean, he was on every magazine. He was, like, in New York, I would walk through magazine stands. I'd just walk by him, and, like, two publications would have John just looking at me. And I'd be like, yeah, screw you, you know. I was yelling at magazines. That's how bad I was. But, uh, you know, but I, I, do feel, I do feel bad about it now, in a way, that, you know, I had that much jealousy. But I, um... But I don't know if it's resolved. <laughs> I, I don't know. Let us start I, the process then. Well, no, like I, I, I wanted to have him on my show because for like a, the first, you know, a lot of episodes on my show are me apologizing to comics that I was sort of an, you know, an ass to. Yeah. And you know, some of them remember, some of them don't. Because a lot of times you think you're more important than you are, especially if you're being an ass. If yeah. you're like, you, you know, it's one thing to be grandiose thinking that everybody loves you, but there's another grandiosity. It's like inverted grandiosity where you think everybody thinks you're an idiot or a, a, an, an annoying uh, person. So I apologize to a lot of people. So I was sort of in that groove, so I figured like, oh, well, I'm the apology guy. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna apologize to John. That'll be a great episode. So I get, like, I, I, got, I, got, I called his office and he called me back and he doesn't call people. And he's like, hey, you know, it's John. I'm like, yeah, how you doing? He's like, you know, uh, Look, I just, you know, I just want you to know that uh, I don't know if you remember, you know, what a, what a dick you were to me, you know, for, for, for <laughs> back in the day. And I'm like, yeah, well, I sort of going to, that's what we're going to work through. He's like, yeah, yeah, there's no love here, man. You know, and I'm like, no, all right. He's like, you know, maybe I'd be open for a cup of coffee, but, uh, you know, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to publicly, you know, talk to you about that. Well, there's so much more you got to watch. Not just listen to the podcast, for amaz uh, which are amazing, or the IFC show, but check out Netflix. Uh, the comedy special is called Thinky Pain, uh, and see the magic in action. What a pleasure, man. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, buddy. Mark Maron, everybody. Yeah, Dude, I really appreciate that. Thank you. We'll go this right here.